Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use custom form modes in Drupal 10. We already uh, know about how to use view modes and that is straightforward. You can uh, just do it by configuration. And now I'm going to show you how to use custom form modes in Drupal and form modes available in Drupal code. So we just need to add new form modes, structure, display modes, form modes, add form mode. And here you have to create, you have to select for which entity type you are going to create. I'm going to create for content. And this article. Oh. I'm creating this for article. So now the form mode is created for content entity type. By default, we have a for mode of register for the user entity type, you will not have any other uh, form modes in by default. And now we created article form. Next, you have to go to content type, article, manage form display. Here, you have to enable the form mode. So enabling article form. And you can have n number of form modes and you can restrict the form mode based upon the bundle article form. And now the article form form mode is created. And in this display, you can restrict the field, whatever the fields you want to display on particular form. So by default, it has title, image, body, tags, and default base, base fields. So now I'm going to hide image alone. And I'm going to save it. Now we created a form mode and we can configure that form mode for the article content. Next, I created a custom module where I'm going to display this uh, particular form mode. Okay. So here I created info file and then next a routing file. In this routing file, I'm going to display that form. And I created a root, and this will be a param converter node. So I will be getting the complete node objects. Here I had a param converter. If you don't know what is param converter, I already posted video about it. You can go and check it out. And I am pointing this to the controller. And this is the class file, and this is the function. When you go to the function, so by default, you have a service called entity form builder. And by using this service, we are going to get the node form. Node form means the node object. In a routing, in a URL, we get a node object that will be passed as an argument to here. So if it is a node one, the complete object will be coming here. And next is the form mode name, the machine name of the form mode which you created. So if you go here and see, so this is the article form. When you click it, So this is the machine name, it is created the article form that the same name you have to give here so that the particular form from that particular form mode, it will be getting displayed here. But before displaying it, you have to add this particular uh, display to the core configured uh, form classes, which means uh, when you go to node.php file, node HP file in code. So here you can see there will be a lot of form classes. In an annotation, if you scroll down, so here you can see uh, where it is. Let me find it. Yeah, here. Handler. Yeah, this is the form classes. Okay. So when you want to when you go here, this is the default. So for default display, this will point to this particular class file. For delete, it will go there. And then edit, it will go there. And then uh, delete multiple confirm, it will go to this particular class file. So you can see default and edit both points to node form, right? Node form class and node form class. This is the 
class file which is available in the code. For your new form mode also, you have to point to this file. If there is a node object, it will uh, get the value of the node and it will be displaying in the form fields. And we are passing here the form display mode, right? So this will load this particular display and it will be uh, displaying it in the front end. So to do that, to alter the particular uh, configuration, you have to use a hook called hook entity type build. This will uh, help you to alter or you can add new one to your form classes. So since it's under the form, you have to use a function called set form class. So if it is under handler, you have to use function called set handler class, I think. So you have to find which class function you have to use. And I'm going to do this for only content entity. So I'm using node and for this particular display. So when you see here, here for default, you are pointing this class file, edit, you are pointing this class file. So same way I am pointing article form to the node form, which is in the code. Okay, you have to point this out and you have to save this file, that's it. Now this is done and then routing is done. And this is done, all done. So here I created links to task.yml. So this is just to uh, give a link to the uh, form which we created. So by default, we will be having a view, edit, delete tabs in the uh, node view page, right? So now I'm creating new tab that is article form, which is based for canonical URL of the node, okay? Next, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just enable this module. Okay. Now the module is enabled. When I go to any content and if I do edit, you can see the new tab that is article form in the node page. So let me show you that. Now I already have only one content. So you can see there is a new tab called article form which we created now. When you go, the image field will not be here. So we restricted the fields and it is displaying in the admin theme. So I added a uh, admin root tool in your options. So that's why it is rendering the admin theme. If you don't want to display it in the admin theme, you can remove this out. And let me hide one more field and show you. Let me hide the body field. And save it. It's done in your ground refresh. So the body field is getting removed. So this is how you have to create your own custom form mode and you can use it in anywhere, wherever you want, when you want to restrict the fields for any node. So when you do like this way, automatically uh, the node creation, edition, or if you want to save, all will be taken care of by the default code. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.